Oh, hey, Scott. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Oh, I'm looking forward to a few days of not being on call. <laughs> I didn't think you ever needed rest. Oh, I'm not resting. I've got my whole family coming into town this weekend, and they're expecting me to provide the entertainment. What's wrong? I think he's choking. Are you choking? I'm going to help you. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Choking occurs when food or other items block a person's airway. In severe airway obstructions, the victim usually will have signs of poor air exchange and breathing difficulty, such as a silent cough, cyanosis or turning blue, and an inability to speak or breathe. The adult or older child may clutch the neck with both hands, making the universal choking sign. This is a signal to ask if the victim is choking. If the victim nods that he or she is choking and cannot talk, you must act. In a standing or kneeling victim, you'll perform an abdominal thrust often referred to as the Heimlich maneuver. Stand or kneel behind the victim and place your arms around the victim's waist. With one hand, locate the navel. Then make a fist with the other hand. Place the thumb side of your fist against the victim's abdomen, just above the navel and below the breastbone. Grasp your fist with your other hand and press your fist into the victim's abdomen with a quick, forceful upward thrust. Repeat thrust until the object is expelled from the airway or the victim becomes unresponsive. If the victim is too large for you to wrap your arms around the waist, pregnant or overweight, for example, wrap your arms around the victim's chest and do chest thrusts instead of abdominal thrusts. If your attempts to relieve choking in an adult or child are unsuccessful or the victim becomes unresponsive, send someone to activate the emergency response system. Perform CPR using the CAB sequence with one exception. Each time you open the airway to give breaths, look for the obstructing object in the back of the throat. If you see an object that can be easily removed, carefully remove it, but do not perform a blind finger sweep as the object may become lodged further back in the airway. Choking is also a fairly common emergency among infants. The steps to relieving choking in an infant are quite different than those for older children and adults. If you find an infant choking and they are responsive, first sit or kneel with the infant in your lap. Hold the infant face down with the head slightly lower than the chest, resting on your forearm. Support the head and jaw with your hand. Avoid compressing the soft tissues of the infant's throat. Rest your forearm on your thigh to provide support. Deliver up to five back slaps forcefully between the infant's shoulder blades using the heel of your hand. Deliver each slap with sufficient force to attempt to remove the foreign body. Then place your free hand on the infant's back, supporting the head with the palm of your hand. This will cradle the infant between your two forearms as you turn the infant over while carefully supporting the head and neck. Keep the infant's head lower than the chest and deliver up to five quick downward chest thrusts the same way you perform compressions, just below the nipple line, over the lower half of the breastbone. Do this at a rate of about one per second. Repeat the sequence of five back slaps and five chest thrusts until the object is removed or the infant becomes unresponsive.